this global consciousness program that we are in, swimming in a sea of neutrino, the tr neutrino ocean. Neutrinos, again, being produced by stars. And because they are both energy and mass, these are what carry information through those planets, and they are the feed for our consciousness. We are all consciousness experiments of consciousness in form. So this is our solar cell. That's what I want you to think about it as, a solar cell. These planetary life aspects create genetic imprints within our design. So, but most of what we are is this sun, right? This neutrino producing object, a star. Neutrinos are the breath of stars, which are feeding us, literally pumping us full, 70% of the information that programs us grounded into the earth. And in reality, each one of these planetary aspects, we can have cycles of that, but Ra didn't focus on all of the planets, just some specific ones that we're going to go into and explore in this course. Remember about neutrinos, they travel at 186,000 miles a second. Science discovered that neutrinos actually oscillate. They react to matter. And when they oscillate, they take on a relationship with what they oscillate with. Ra often shares it like a red car and a white car banging into each other, and a little bit of paint will rub off on each car. So as the neutrinos fly through you and I, Pluto, Earth, all the other planets, they pick up and they leave information. This is how we feel the effects of the planets and the stars, of the transits. This is how we get our natal imprint. So each of us carry primary crystals of consciousness, which both receive and transmit. In fact, every single cell in our body has a crystal. And our crystals of consciousness are what are able to interpret the neutrino feed we receive and we transmit. That means all of us sitting here are being imprinted by the neutrino ocean and the energy of our field being carried out further out into the stellar background frequency, out into the biverse, as Ra would call it, and up beyond. It is an incredible thing that we're swimming in, this neutrino ocean, this soup of information. So within the solar cell, each of us are imprinted by the power of the sun and the dynamic of the sun in context with the earth. Remember this sun earth electromagnetic between the yin earth and the yang, the sun, is what is creating our incarnative purpose. So wherever that sun is in a person's design, that is the focus, conscious, their life's work, unconscious, their genetic imprinting, part of their life's work as well, but the conscious personality is the focus of their purpose in this life. You could call it a goal. When we get to PTL3 in incarnation cross analysis, you will learn more about this goal. All of us have one of four main goals. So we live out the Tao between the yang and the yin, the yin and the yang, these two great forces, form and energy. That is 70% of the feed, not only for our own genetic imprinting, but also for these cycles that your clients and you, of course, are going through that if it's correct for you to do so, you can now begin to interpret, analyze to the benefit of your client to help support them in comprehending what they're going through or making sense of, grasping, navigating, being aware of what they're going through, through this process in this journey. We're all objects moving in space. And here are the great planetary objects that affect us. If you could imagine throwing up in the air a deck of cards, 
Here we have them all flying around, planets, moons, the star, and the stellar background frequency that's beyond the solar cell. The information gets transferred into us and we have this crystallization of our genetic blueprint at certain times, certain stages of our life, like the 88 degrees before you were born and the moment of birth. That is your genetic imprint that lasts throughout your entire life that shows us our strategy. It shows us our authoritative process, what we can trust. It shows us what is our uniqueness, our predisposition to form differentiation. This is our planetary program. When you start to go into cycles, and you know from ancient times to now, we've been able to observe this program. Um, the ancient observational sciences saw these as the wandering stars up there because, you know, they look like stars, just they moved, not like the ones behind in the background or the stellar background field. So this is our global consciousness program. Ra would call it the global orchestration directory, G-O-D, the gods. It's there this planetary program. And, you know, they were named after gods, Jupiter, Zeus, you know, Mars, Aries, Venus, Aphrodite, or, you know, any other way of interpreting that beautiful evening star. They are the rulers of our lives because they are the ones that give us our imprint and they are the ones that give us great benefit or potential misfortune. In general, remember, they control us humans when we are not in alignment with our decision-making strategy, being our own authoritative self. So what you're going to find is that when people come to you for these analyses, they're looking for, hmm, where's my fortune in this life? You know, where is it that we're going to come to an awareness of what's going on and how can I take advantage of what's going on? We are in constant contact with everything that is around us through that neutrino stream that bombards all of our cells every day, every moment of our existence. That is our connection to the quote unquote gods the global orchestration directory in Ra's words, our connection with not only the planets that are within our solar cell, but also our connection with the background of the stellar star field that is beyond our solar cell. That imprint coming through the windows of our life where we encounter others, the environment that we be in, the unconscious nodal imprint and the way that we see directionally in this life, that time frame, that road, that path that we walk, the conscious personality is the way that we see on this path and in this journey. You are going to now take into account a new imprint. Depending on what cycle it is, it's going to show you different thematics that is teaching that being or you yourself, if you're analyzing yourself, teaching us about life, what we're here to learn, what we're here to experience through that constant contact with everything all around us, these times in our lives, these phases and stages that we're going to experience life. We all live in a sea, cosmic neutrinos, neutrino ocean, as Ra would say, moving at almost the speed of light. Billions of neutrinos pass through the earth each second, penetrating everything all the time. This is an exchange of information. We live in a galaxy that's populated with endless millions, billions of stars, and they all produce neutrinos. Those neutrinos are moving through space, reaching everywhere. We live in a kind of grid, as Ra would say. So here's the general big picture view thematic of Ra's grid or imprint, the life unfolding that path in his trajectory through space. 